this is Optobonus coming with another video review. And thanks to the folks at Playmates Toys, today we'll be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle classic version of Leonardo. Now, right off the bat, I absolutely love this packaging. Without a doubt, this is definitely a kind of classic inspiration. I love the bubble package on here, very reminiscent of kind of the container that the ooze is in. You can kind of sort of see ooze dripping down. You flip around here on the top and it looks... Um, well, what does that say? Oh, it says City Sewer right across the top. That's really kind of cool. Now, it says, inspired by the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series in 1988 and features 34 points of articulation. Now, that's... Both of those things are kind of up for debate. Number one, inspired by the original series. Um, definitely looks like the cartoon. I mean, you can see, definitely looks like it. But a lot of people have kind of complained, and, and I... Kind of, I kind of can see it. They have the toy inspired kind of face with the, with the, with the growl kind of look going on there, which I don't mind at all. But it really does seem like more of a hybrid between the two, the actual cartoon and the toys, which did have a distinct difference uh, in terms of their looks. But here you have Leonardo. You flip around here on the back. You got all four of the classic turtles. Fantastic. Beautiful picture on here. I love those guys. So very cool. And then coming up to the top, you don't get really a, a bio here per se for each individual figure but a little bit of a read-up on the tip uh, the turtles by themselves and it says the teenage mutant ninja turtles are back like never before in collector quality figures featuring 34 points of articulation signature weapons and classic sewer cover base these perfect old-school cartoon recreations will leave you screaming cowabunga and then a little bit about how they came into existence very cool you can check them out at nick.com slash tmnt for information about the new series and you can go to playmatestoys.com so there's the packaging i just love that vintage logo so very cool and of course this is the leader of the guy so we might as well start off with him so let's get him open and see how cool he actually is <laughs> So here we have Leonardo opened up and out of its packaging. And this thing is absolutely extraordinary. Now, there are a few minor nitpicks that I have with it. But when it comes down to it, I'm seeing it right off the bat that these classic versions are the definitive versions of the animated style from the 1980s of our beloved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Absolutely fantastic. Now, in terms of his accessories, starting things off with that, number one, he comes with this beautiful display stand. You can see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo. This is actually kind of uh, all textured, so it's, it's raised and everything. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks like a sewer cover. That's, I mean, it's really kind of cool. Flip around here on the back, just blah, blah, blah. Nothing exciting, but really nice. Now, that's just, print, the name is just printed on there or painted on there or something, but I love that. I think it's absolutely awesome that they included something like that. And then he also comes with his katana swords. Now, obviously, you can see them here and back here. Now, they're, they're not too spectacular. Uh, they're, they're just swords. I love the fact that they have the blue painted handle. Very nice. Nice kind of detail on here. They are the same size. Now, the new modern one actually has the, his swords. I didn't mention this in the video, and I do have to apologize. Somebody somebody mentioned in the comments, and I, I honestly thought that their eyes were playing tricks on them, but I went back and I looked, and the actual swords are different sizes on those ones. This is identical sized, so you can just slide it right in here and right in here, much like the original actual cartoon series. Now, these are designed to look like the cartoon series, and, and that's really what they kind of do. But some of the things that they decided to go with on this, such as the different skin tone that these turtles have, in addition to the fact that their faces all kind of have this angry look or something like that, that's all really more designed to kind of look like what the toys look like. So there is a hybrid between the two, and I, I really don't mind it all that much. I really think it actually helps make this look really very cool. Now, this actually does detach, and you can see that this is uh, all just kind of barely hanging on there, like it's actually cloth, but when you put it back on there, you do have to be careful because you, you want to make sure that you actually line up the hole on the band with the hole in a shell. And you, you can have this go around kind of as an accessory. One thing that I do like is that if they just kind of glued this in there, it would probably eventually break over time. So I like the fact that it is removable so that if you hit it, it comes out. It doesn't actually break. That's definitely something that's cool. 
You got the nice blue kind of strap here holding his, his holsters together. Uh, you got the blue on the elbow pads, wrist pads, knee pads, bandana, all so much like the actual cartoon. You got the L on the belt buckle. And one thing that I absolutely love is this can actually detach just like the vintage figures did. Now again, that's something that goes towards the vintage figure. That's not how the, the cartoon was. But I love the fact that they're incorporating elements like that in both from, from both series and toys in this new classic toy. Now, the best thing about this is the amount of articulation that this thing has. It's ridiculous. Now, some people may actually complain because when you look on here, you see a lot of these joints. Now, that might put some people off because when you add so much articulation, it actually can make the figure look kind of ugly and I do kind of feel that way about the hands uh, I'll get to that here in a little bit but for his articulation the head is on a ball joint so nice range of motion there um, it, it doesn't get too much going on but you can see that it does work the shoulders here pin and sockets so forward back all the way around they also have a rotation at the upper part of the bicep double hinged elbows awesome so you can get very cool like I said I, or like I showed earlier I had him pulling out a sword which only is possible with a double hinged elbow so very freaking cool now the wrists here rotate he also has individual finger articulation the thumb i'm going to zoom in here the thumb can move up and down and it also can rotate all the way around so a lot of articulation now a lot of people worried about holding his weapon because you can move these around these are very firm so it's a very nice tight joint it should be perfectly fine holding the weapons in any kind of pose that you really want and as you can see each individual finger is also articulated now this part here it, it kind of looks like it also I mean believe it or not it also rotates a little bit because this middle section here that connects these fingers actually goes in and is also on a rotating joint but because of this back section here you can't rotate it all the way around but now that section right there really does kind of destroy the look of one hand uh, i love the fact that they added the articulation in the fingers and this is something that i really think makes the figure that much better and the downside of it is, is you get a little bit ugly of, a, of an open flap there which is kind of unfortunate uh, I, I'm, because we have articulated fingers, I, I'm not going to be all that picky. I, I'm really not. I think it's really cool. Now, as you can see here, the waist here, well, not even the waist. It's kind of like the midsection is kind of on this. Uh, I believe it's a ball joint. You can see that the upper section here is actually what is attached to the shell on the back. So you can actually rotate that Um a fair amount this kind of gets in the way at least on Leonardo so that kind of limits it but you know you got a little bit of a crunch going on a lot of articulation there now th this is kind of weird and this is another thing that I I, I kind of like and eh, you know the the kind the hands kind of are one kind of eh that I have this is another one uh, the hips up here are on ball joints so you get a nice range of motion as you can see full range of motion with there but then at the thigh they also have a rotating joint um, which is actually hard to do because when you rotate it the whole leg rotates so and I'm, I'm trying there you go see it, it really is kind of a pointless joint right there uh, I, I really don't know why they needed to include that when, only when, when you twist it it destroys that kind of look as you can see now it's just all broken right there uh, I, I really have no idea why they decided to put that there and that kind of makes it look like there's a line going through on his thighs which isn't terrible but it is again you know too much articulation kind of making it a little ugly looking not terrible but something that I probably wanted to put in there now he also has got he also has double hinged knees so you can have him kicking his butt if you really wanted so very cool um, but again you can see the joints right there and you can really kind of do some weird poses like that which that's really kind of strange uh, the ankles here they move forward they move back they rotate uh, I do wish they did a like a rocker action so you can get some real wide poses but what they kind of also did was they made the toes articulated so you can get a real wide pose I guess and kind of position the toes to make it look like 
his feet are more flat, I suppose. Uh, something like that, I guess. But that's cool. Toe articulation? Seriously? That's nuts. Absolutely, positively nuts. Um, I love this guy. Now, like I said, even though I do have some minor, and I do mean minor nitpicks, this is, in my opinion, the definitive version of the 80s cartoon turtles. Um, now, to draw a comparison, here he is, and here he is next to the black and white edition version of Leonardo from NECA Toys, which in my opinion is the definitive version of the comic look for these figures. Uh, and I know, a little bit harder to see because he's white, but just pretend it's a comic book. As you can see, there is a bit of a size difference here. The new classic Leonardo measures in at about six and a quarter inches tall, so you can see that there is a bit of a size difference. But really when it comes down to it, these are the two best versions of the Turtles that we've ever gotten. This is the comic book version, and this is the cartoon version. I am absolutely loving these, and it is so very cool that my childhood is returning in terms of these awesome toys. It started out with He-Man, and then carried on more recently with the Thundercats. And as you can see, in terms of size, obviously He-Man's going to be a little bit bigger, because, you know, they're teenage mutant ninja turtles <laughs> but i'm so very thrilled to be getting such wonderful parts of my childhood reinvented utilizing new technology and new methods to give us awesome new figures of these guys the teenage mutant ninja turtles from the 1980s are back in these new awesome looking figures from playmates now these turtles will be available at all major retailers starting next month and with it and without a doubt these things will be flying off the shelves. These are absolutely fantastic figures. And I cannot wait to see if we're going to be getting more from the original cartoon series in terms of characters and toys. Because this guy right here is super excited. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optivotomous. I'll talk to you later.